take fitness. I live this, it's automatic. I win it, so get those horns, you finish. A soldier, and I stay under you, fight. Put some storming on you, chumps like I'm thunder and lightning. Ain't no way you're breaking me, kid. I'm harder than nails, plus I keep it on lock like I'm part of the jail. I'm slaughtered.
Yeah, good old Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I love that game. <laughs> oh, and that, that Fire Emblem theme is so cheesy, but I fucking love it. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to more Digimon Cyber Slur. So, uh, off stream, I did a bit of grinding. So, uh, yeah, I did the thing I said I was going to do. Antramon's level 55. Let's see what he turns into when we Digivolve him into a Mega. Ooh. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump straight into this, shall we? Oh, wait, right. I gotta do it from the I gotta do it from the stream deck, otherwise the game will freak out. I keep forgetting that. Do 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 do. There we go. And hey, don't I look snazzy? <laughs> I look like I just came back from a summer vacation. Technically true. <laughs> Technically true. So yeah, this is the team that we have at the moment. I did a bit of grinding. So yeah, Andromon's level 55, he is ready to Digivolve. Uh, Grademon, uh, level 52, Cannon Beamon's getting up there. Uh, we, I also Digivolved a few of the back road that I, you know, never use. <laughs> and I always forget about. Demo, thank you so much for the host, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I Digivolved them off stream, completely forgetting, so like, oh right, I promised to actually do that on stream. So we have, uh... We have Black Wegarurumon and Lady Devimon. <laughs> that was Hawaii. I wish it was Hawaii. Oh my gosh. Fucking immediately. Mega Man, Mega Man. <laughs> uh, maybe a bit busy finishing up uh, Square Enix's TGS livestream. Oh yeah, that... That is... I really wish I could watch that, but I can't because I got a stream. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna... Figured out what's going on afterwards. All right, moment of truth. Andromon, did you evolve to? Oh, yo, that's fucking sick. Hi, Andromon. <laughs> Dude. Dude, that's like Andromon in his edgy phase. Atomic Ray, physical attack, 125 damage uh, to one foe, 40% 40 chance, uh, 40 chance of stun. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Uh, does anyone else have... Uh, you have Tiger Vespamon, but I want Cannon Beamon to become Tiger Vespamon because, you know, autism. <laughs> uh, ooh, hello. Mega Siegemon can be two things. Gonna go with this one. Why not? All right, please see All right. Oh, okay. Um, mm, uh. I don't have any data Digimon on the team, so yeah, I'll move. Move you. Uh, is that everyone? Yeah, that seems to be everyone. You know, technically, but yeah, I want to do something else with Grademon. Uh. Okay, you can become either that or that. Uh. What are your What are your stats? Oh yeah, attack will be easier to get up to that point by the level requirement, so whatever that is, that's what we're going with. Here's your day been. Uh, day's been interesting, to say the least. My day's been interesting. I had a, uh, 
I had another appointment with the, uh, uh, what was it? Yeah, like the job assistance thing, <laughs> which is fucking annoying. Because, um, yeah, the last one, uh, yeah, the last one I had was just before I, uh, left for Queensland. Like, I think it was like a day or two beforehand. And, uh, that was when, like, I got a new, like, assistance coach and all that. I come back, uh, get this appointment, and, uh, she buggered off, and we got a new one. So, we essentially had to do the same appointment again, where I have to talk to her, it's like, hey, this is what I'm... Like, this is what I'm like, this is my strengths, this is my weaknesses, yada yada yada. <laughs> Fucking... Uh... What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, that was a thing. That was annoying. But, uh... Like, that being said, like, this new woman... She, like, she's actually young enough to understand what the fuck, you know, Twitch is. <laughs> so she actually gets... Like, the kind of shit that I'm into and what I'm good at. So, like, thank God for that. It's like, everyone I've had to talk to, it's like, I don't know how we can get you into any kind of, like, voiceover job, any kind of media-based thing. I don't know. I'm too old for that. I don't understand it. Well, this woman's like, oh, you you stream on Twitch? Cool. I, I gotta watch you sometime. <laughs> it's like, all right, sick. Uh, let's see. It was code scan. Showcasing chaos again. Oh no. <laughs> Unlock code. Left is blue. Right is green. Okay. So yeah, with the... Uh, it, it was kind of annoying that like I essentially had to start all over again. When we only just started all over again two weeks ago. But uh, yeah, it, it, it seems like I'm gonna be, you know, more successful this time around with uh, this new woman. Papa John's offering two pizzas for $69. Nice. And an appointment with PWS. Oh. I wish. I wish I could drink, but I can't. But yeah, like, going back on to that, uh, that appointment, though, it's like, every time I had to, you know, like, yeah, every time I talked about, like, doing any kind of, um, uh, any kind of voice work, whether it be, like, you know, from, uh, doing my, yeah, doing the Switchaboo podcast, or, uh, like, the, uh, uh, the video reviews, or whatever. Like, she'd always compliment me. It's like, wow, you, yeah, you got the voice for it. I, I love it. It's amazing to hear. I'm like, oh, thank you. It is weird to actually be complimented on, like, how I speak. It's like, yeah, it, it's a skill that I've been working on for the past 10 years, and, like, only now am I, like, getting complimented for it. It feels weird. The lattice is gone, bringing out the booze. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Like, I don't follow... Uh... Yeah, I, I, I don't follow politics. Like, at all. Because, like, I legit don't care. But... Like, even I have to admit, Gladys is just... Gladys Barry Shiklian is just... An absolute fucking mess of a human being. <laughs> Don't drink his Rose's Mountain Dew emote. Of course, he has a Mountain Dew emote. That reminds me, I need to get a, uh... Like, I I've been meaning to get a goddamn Mount... Uh, not Mountain Dew, fucking... <laughs> a, uh... Uh, Dr. Pepper emote <laughs> for the longest time. But it's been so long since the last time I've had Dr. Pepper, I should change it to co uh, Vanilla Coke. Dr. Pepper is it a real doctor? No. Nah. 
Dr. Pib is, though. <laughs> Dr. Mario is? Nah, that's... <laughs> that's a front. He's not a real doctor. Dr. Amigo, on the other hand, yeah. That's who Dr. Mario is trying to be. <laughs> He's just taken his, uh... Medical license, pretending to be him. Please tell me you guys know what the fuck Dr. Amigo is, please. <laughs> see, copy paste. There we go, now I got a green uh now I got a green crystal over my head. Now it really is the Sims. Uh how do I okay. I miss an item over here, so. Yes, Dr. Amigo, who is that? Please look it up. And I hope you can find it. Yeah, uh, I bet to see the newly released No Time to Die on the screens until uh, Wallet told me I left it at home. Oof. Oh, come on. There we go. Wait, no, I go this way. <laughs> Get fucked. Mega Man, Mega Man. Uh, who is the undead Digimon King born from a nasty computer virus? Uh, my Otismon? Uh, -uh. Uh, I think I found Dr. Amigo as the dude who's dressed up as Dr. Mario. <laughs> yep. Just, uh, I bel- It's either Spanish or Mexican. Because <laughs> I know it's speaking Spanish. But, like, it, it is a- it is a thing. <laughs> that ad is so scuffed. <laughs> Looks like the entrance to the secret room. What? And Ida, what the fuck? Huh? But that's... What is that Ida doing here? Uh, don't have any choice. We gotta fight it. Alright, well it's a good thing I have Cannon Beam on to wreck it, shit. Uh, only halfway there, which means uh, half more than the lovely villain Shimmy can. Shut up. Shut up, please. Ah, 
Oh, and just realized Cannon Beamon has no SP. Shit. There we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, Cannon Beamon really is just like the Eda Destroyer. He's the absolute best at it. This is no laughing matter. There's no way this thing was part of Kamashira's security measures, right? Sorry to keep you waiting. You could go to hands on the passcode. Hey, she really did it. Sending it now. Passcode Rie underscore K totes underscore adorbs. I hate it. What? You go through? That's the passcode to the secret room. This is it? Apparently the password wasn't something that was capable of being uh, deduced via hacking. Uh, you'd have to have a strong handle on her personality or else make it a lucky guess. Rie underscore K totes adorbs. Yes, Rie underscore K totes underscore adorbs. I did mention how the passcode changes daily, right? This one is still valid. By the way, yesterday's passcode was... <laughs> no, let's just move on, shall we? It's a bit too lurid for miners like you. Alright, alright. Hang on, wait. Hey! Alright, uh, proceed with the operation. We don't want Yuko's efforts to be in vain. You have to make your way inside. Man, now I really want to know what it was. Odd. <sighs> it should do the trick. I've got to get out of here and fast. I've been found out. Oh no! So then this is... Oh no, we're fucked. Let's walk into this trap. Well, looks like this is the place. Secret room, huh? Well then, let's see what secrets you're hiding exactly, shall we? Well, the passcode makes me think, what kind of woman is Kashibe? She can't be anything like Nokia, right? Like Nokia on steroids. Well, never mind. We got some, yeah, we got some searching to do. Uh, okay? Oh, for real? So this is Kamashiro's top secret area then? Gotta find the data we're after now. You go search over there. Huh? Found something? What is that, a trashy old rag? It's panties, isn't it? The, these, uh... Japan! Oh, God damn it. Why are these here? How long are you gonna hold them for? Put those away! Mega Man, Mega Man. Oh, hey, I got it. Now what? Huh? Rie's heart wrenching diary. Alright, let's see what you got. Looks like the contents are encrypted. Can't be. This is a confidential library? Are you two okay? Something happened, Kyoko? Seems there was a disturbance at the preview. A disturbance? What's that supposed to mean? In the preview venue? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Uh-oh, what? Oh, shit. I was, about to, I was about to say Eda's in the real world, but it's like, no, we're not there yet. 
<laughs> the background music sure isn't full boating, yeah. Yeah, Zelda is my what? <laughs> it's another Rita. There's more than just one, dude. Kamishira has put an emergency stop to the Eden service for the time being. The announcement claims illegal access by hackers is the reason behind it. Nah, oh, yeah, of course. Always conceal the truth. But if, <laughs> but if that eater manifested before so many people, it won't be able to control things so easily. So I'm guessing what happened with the localization specifically for this is they used like a quick um, word replacement kind of thing and they accidentally fucked up one uh, the word that they used for eater with Bakamon. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what happened. Huh? Then that means that girl and Rie Kishibe. Hey, Roger's here. Go gifted uh, sub to unexpected place. Some uh, someone named Rug Smuggler. <laughs> oh, dude, solid name. Uh, what's this about a disturbance? Now that the servers are down from an online attack. That's just nonsense, right? Must be victims of Eden Syndrome from all this. Why, why hide that? Now, now, Yuko, don't be so scared. Yeah, your tongue will freeze up and you won't be able to talk. Stop choking around. Like, you've been taking, uh, taking care. Oh, okay, yeah, that's my dyslexia freaking out. It says you've been taking care, care of my brother. <laughs> all right, uh, that's what. Uh, that's why this whole time I've been... Mm -hmm. Little orphan Yuko and a minor at that. Uh, with your brother in the condition he's in, you need someone to keep looking after him. Listen to me, and keep what I say a secret. It's better to stay on my good side, don't you think? If you're going to go through life with grown-ups holding your hand for you, you better play your cards right. If not, I might plumb forget to take care of the dear big brother. Oopsie. Uh, there's an evil name someone has uh, who dropped bits in their stream called the demon who subs t uh, stubs your toes. <laughs> Alright. Just kidding, right? Obviously. But seriously. Without the hospital taking care of them, all those patients could start fading fast. Oh no. It would be just awful if that were to happen. People like you, Miss Rie, should be. What did I tell you about making that face? It's all good. That's all good, Yuka. I think I think of you as the dip. I think of you as the darling little sister I never had. And there's your brother too, of course. He's been orphaned by our dear departed chairman as well. And so to keep me from simply forgetting anything, you mustn't access my private data anymore. Do we have an understanding? Miss, uh, Miss Rie, answer me this. What on earth are you planning to do with the demon hackers? Well, well, you finally asked a direct question. My strategy will be very effective. <laughs> oh, but that's a secret. Eden is, is the dreamland my father built. Keep your filth out of it. I'll never surrender Eden to you. OMG. Oh, you're so adorable. Shut the fuck up. It's threatening me while trembling and almost crying. So heart wrenching I could just die. And. How's the prep work coming along, uh, Akimi? Oh my god, he's fucking voice. Uh, without any mishaps, naturally. Yeah, we had the desired results from the upgrade, yes? We did. We've nearly verified the theory regarding Ida behavior. Oh, gee, you're totally kicking it. And then there was that test. You knocked that one out of the park, uh, Akimi. Yes, yes, leave it to me. Uh, I will have an optimal stage ready and waiting. That day will be uh, that day will be one that you and I will never forget. Oh gee, it sounds so romantic. Stop fucking saying OMG, god damn it. Okay, Akimi. Uh Akimi, god damn it, I'm talking like a 
person who doesn't know Japanese. Uh, let's go. Oh. He saw us, didn't he? That old guy. Yeah, he totally did. Gave a little sign that he'd noticed us, and yet he didn't give us away. Uh, don't get it. Is he against us or on our side? Which is it? When I, when I hear a quacktastic joke, I probably don't, but go for it. <laughs> you got the information? Yeah, it's called Rie's Hard Wrenching Diary, a library of top secret Kamashiro information. You got a perfect copy. We'll wait to do the uh, we'll wait to do the decrypting until we get back. It's excellent. Get out of there as soon as you can. With all the confusion going on now, you should be able to leave right through the front entrance. But can we leave the eaters uh, at the preview venue? Eden service is shut down for the time being. There shouldn't be any more victims today. I understand you desire to get rid of the eaters, but think about it. Making contact with one would ruin the, uh, would run the risk of destroying the confidential information. Roger that. Takumi, let's go back to the agency. Alright, what do we got? What a foul joke, you must plan to shut up. Uh, what a story time when, uh, when you read to Ducklings, DuckTales. Ugh, alright, alright. Uh, there's official word from Kamashiro that an eater appeared at the preview event. Seems that Kamashiro claimed that hackers with malicious intent interrupted the preview. The press is in an uproar, reporting that hackers caused some of the pro uh, participants to develop Eden Syndrome. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding, blaming anything bad that happens to them on hackers. To the general public, hackers are nothing more than outlaws, and they're demanding that scapegoats be brought forth. Put it, uh, put it this way, hackers reap what they sow. Pardon me if that sounds a bit harsh. Still, this brouhaha might make it easier for you all to slip in unnoticed. Suedo saw, uh, yeah, Suedo saw what we were doing. He didn't say anything. Why? It doesn't make sense. Interesting. The reason why might be in there. Uh, might be in here. God damn it. Why did the duck get the tension? I don't know, and I'm not looking forward to finding out. <laughs> what? Couldn't stop quacking jokes in class. Oh, just stop. Just stop, please. Uh, this is what we found in the secret room. Rie's heart wrenching diary. As I expected, a library of top secret Kamashiro information. It was encoded with an advanced encryption, but I finally decoded it just a short while ago. And, what was inside? The Paradise Lost Plan. Alright. Paradise Lost Plan? Yes, have you heard of it? Well, this is the first I've heard of it. Seems that Kamashiro is controlling the digital waves to execute some large scale plan. The digital shifts that keep happening lately are being caused intentionally by Kamashiro. Might be slightly misleading to say that. Kamashiro's goal is for the Paradise Lost... Uh, there. Is for the Paradise Lost plan to succeed. The digital shifts are simply a side effect of that. The upcoming large-scale update to Eden is a part of that plan, it seems. Okay, but just what is the Paradise Lost plan? Yes, well, unfortunately the documentation doesn't describe the plan itself at all. That said, what is included, and this is very interesting, is the name of the individual responsible for developing the plan. Person responsible? Who the heck is it? Cut the suspense and tell us. It's Akemi Sueda. Now say what? That old guy? There was one other interesting piece of information in there. It's about the first victim of Eden Syndrome. It was a closed beta test run eight years ago before the Eden cyberspace was opened to the public. During the, uh, during the test, there was an accident brought about due to unforeseen errors. One of the individuals involved never regained consciousness and became the first Eden Syndrome patient. First victim? Who was it? I wonder who it was! Oh, fuck you! 
Uh, this is a topic for our next investigation. I can't believe it. Uh, why did the duckling almost fall on the sidewalk? Uh, she tripped on a quack. Uh, 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 just please stop. Uh, they've been running Eden all this time, hiding this information when there have been victims going back eight years? That's what makes big company so scary. Your refusal to stop for something so trivial. Blizzard. <laughs> uh, that's why this intel is so valuable. You gotta share it with Detective Matayoshi. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, you've really gained something this time. Um, excuse me. Is there no info on my father, Satoru Kamashiro? No. At the very least, there wasn't anything in the data that was brought back. There was nothing that looked like that in there. Uh, the only other stuff was some trashy panties. I see. Sorry I wasn't able to do more. <laughs> Thanks for your help, though. Please, excuse me. Uh, what? Hey, hey, hang on. I might not be able to help anymore. Hmm, seems like there's something on her mind. Hey, talk to me. Go after her and see if you can talk to her. You had her, right? Her brother has Eden Syndrome. Someone might be blackmailing her to keep her mouth shut. And then to have Eden, her father's dream, hijacked by that Kashibe woman. Your body being in the state that it, uh, it's in gives you a stake in all this, too. I'm not in a position to comfort or encourage her, but you, you're good at that, yeah? Because you're a video game protagonist. A silent video game protagonist. Uh, go on, then. I've revised my opinion of you a little, kid. Uh, you value your friends more than I thought. Don't damn me with your faint praise, woman. Alright then. But perhaps active encouragement is better than verbal. I've got a new coffee idea. This is special. Oyster, so Oyster sauce for extra punch. Or maybe you prefer apple cider vinegar. What? Please, stop making coffee. For the love of God. Oh, what I wouldn't give for this game to have English voice acting so I wouldn't have to speak every goddamn line. Talk to me. What is it? Was there something else? Did you come after me because you were worried about me? Uh, thank you very much. Can I ask you something? You want to return to your original body? I see. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Why am I asking you something so obvious? My hesitation has gone away. I'm going to try uh, I'm going to try do what I obviously should be doing. Must be going. Goodbye. Oh <laughs> god. Oh god, my throat! Oh no, is, is this how it all ends? Barf. Dead. Thank you for ruining all dramatic tension out of that cutscene. Thank you. Uh, what well, Pokemon is both attack and pers uh, an attack and a personality? Snorlax. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> uh, what TV show about dancing to Pokemon Love? Dancing with the Star Years. Stop it, please. Stop. All right, what do we got? Oh, hello, nothing here. Da, da, da. Uh, no, I said not to worry about it, but how do you think Nokia is going? She's still looking for allies in Kowloon. Okay, Kowloon it is. Let's go. The so whereabouts in Kowloon, though. You're Arkino's friend, right? I have a request for you. Oh, that's right. You're, uh, you're the Cybersleuth. 
I'll send the case info ahead to your office. Could you not just do that while I was there? Did I seriously have to go all the way here just for that? Oh, for God's sake. Sci-fi movie to Pokemon like the most star you was. Demo, I swear to God. I swear to God, one more and I'm fucking putting you on timeout. Uh, Friendship DX, alright. Uh, I want to help Arcano, but I'm totally powerless. I need you to help. I need your help instead of me. <laughs> Unexpectedly bad. Shut the fuck up, the both of you. Man, I didn't I didn't read where I needed to go. Uh Galactic Park, yeah, I thought that's where it was. Oh, you came to see me. Thanks, dude. I'm a newbie in the Rebels. My name's Yasu. How come you couldn't just tell me this when I talked to you before? Why did I have to go through the rigmarole of fucking all that shit? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Demo. God fucking damn it. Bam. I'm out. Quit it. <laughs> fucking quit it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get to the case details in just a sec, but uh, first there's something I want to check. Basically, I just need to know, are you a member of the Rebels? What are you? What aren't you? What do you mean? It seems a bit vague. I can I didn't mention you, but it seems like you want to join, uh, join the Rebels. So please, keep watch over Arcana. That is your duty. You're the one who changed her, so it's the least you can do. If you let her get into danger, I'll never forgive you. And, well, I... I love her, so... so Alright. Love? Uh, okay. Whoa, what do you mean? I'm screwed. I love her, but I like her, and I want to leap around too. What? Okay. Uh, but please don't make fun of me. I'm being serious. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now, there are rumors that some of the hackers who Arkano invited to join us have something against her. I'm powerless. If anything should uh, should happen, I want you to protect Arkino. Thanks. Arkano is on Kowloon level 1 now. Go and look for her. Alright. Let's go protect the idiot. Game, was that really necessary? Now that's just overkill using Nitro Stinger on a baby. Come on now. Oh, look who it is. Huh? Is that okay? I'm asking you to do your best to watch over her, secretly. There's an emergency, that's a different story. Otherwise, just watch her from afar. That's what a real man does. <laughs> what, watch women from afar? Okay. That's not weird or anything. Huh? What is it? Wanna join the rebels? You'll join, right? We wouldn't have talked for so long about this if you weren't interested. Why should I join? Uh, why should I join such a shady group? Do it for Eden, for the Digimon. And those problems will be there whether I join or not. And anyway, I'm the last person who could change things. Never got good grades in school. Don't have a girlfriend. Don't have a job. There's no way I'm going to change anything. That doesn't matter. There will come a time when we and the Digimon need all the help we can get, even the little things you can do. Also, if you join the Rebels, your grades will get better. What? 
you will get a girlfriend. You'll even find a job. Really? I don't actually know. Everyone gets different results. But I believe in you. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Been a while since I heard someone say that to me. Being truthful with me. Alright, it's a deal. I'll join the rebels. Alright, you're easily persuaded. Yeah, that's what a real stalker does, yeah. Not you being a cult leader. 100%, yeah. Really? Awesome, thanks. Awesome, that's amazing. Arkano, you have a gift for recruiting, you know. Yasu, yeah, coming to a cinema, uh, cinema near you. Alright. Actually, now that I think about it, you're actually really pretty. Is it okay for me to date the leader? Huh? Oh, um, that might be a problem. Don't forget your daily offerings of egg. <laughs> God. That jerk is pushing his luck. Why can't he just make a pass at Arkino so casually? I'm gonna put a stop to this. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Somehow got exactly 30 bucks in pay, like damn. <laughs> what? Let go of me. Talk to me. Let me at him. Let me at him. This is great. I'm gonna tell everyone about this. I have to know about how I met a hot girl. Uh, no. Wait. Don't. Huh? A hot girl, you say? <laughs> Noki, you did it! Yeah, apparently I'm a hot girl. No, not that, you successfully recruited him. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Are you seriously more happy about being called hot? Of course you did. Haven't you gotten used to the fact that you're the leader now? Thanks, but we still need more members. Also. Also? My ability to lead is not quite there yet, either. Still can't face Yugo or Fei. They're too strong. I see. Maybe if we got stronger. Oh no, no, I didn't mean you guys. I'm worried that I don't have what it takes. Not enough practice, maybe. Not enough practice, maybe? Yeah, me neither, actually. All you need is a bit of motivation. Huh? Really? Hmm, motivation. Well, anyway, I'm standing around here trying to figure this out won't do any good. Yeah, right, time to go recruit more hackers. Let's go. Wow, Akano, so brave, so tender. I'm falling for her. Please shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, she's getting away. I gotta protect her. Looks like Nokia is going to Kowloon. We're already in Kowloon. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I hope you mean Catalan level 2, because goddamn. Hey, it probably is. Because, yeah, like the second half of, of the story is where, you know, the story actually starts to, you know, pick up. Uh, Nokia does have a neck for attracting followers uh, to do the work for it, <laughs> yeah. Okay, auto battle is just making them do like their strongest moves and they're just wasting their SP on babies. That's just I'm just gonna do basic attacks, fucking god. It'll be faster anyway. Uh she's not here. Please tell me she actually moved up a level. <laughs> Cat, kill it with fire. Oh, thank god. Hey, do you want to join the rebels to help protect the Digimon, please? I understand your feelings towards Digimon, but honestly doubt the rebels are going to change anything. It all depends on how hard we try. The team has just, uh, just been set up recently, right? You guys are no match for the Saxons. Whether we are or not, we still have to try. Have to try. You sure? 
Yes, because if we don't, no matter how much time goes by, the Digimon situation won't change. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Hold on there. Uh, you're that girl who's been going around asking hackers to join you, aren't you? Who are you? Oh, wait, stop. Don't want to get dragged into this. Fuck that noise. Uh, isn't there an option how auto battle prioritizes attacks? I don't know. Uh, how about a lord and savior egg? <laughs> oh, but wait, wait. <laughs> Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Lightning McQueen? <laughs> yeah. Hey, who are you? You let the guy I was trying to recruit get away. <laughs> uh, you don't know about me because you're an outsider. Huh? Outsider? I'm feared, loathed, despised, and shunned by the hacker community. <laughs> but what's he in Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> it doesn't say it's in Kingdom Hearts. Oh no! Now, uh, legendary hacker of infamy. Legendary hacker of infamy. Don't legendary and infamy mean pretty much the same thing? Huh? Oh, I get it. You're the annoying comic relief character, right? Well, if you're looking for a moron position, I'm afraid I'm not hiring right now. Oh, fucking burn! Fucking burn! <laughs> uh, I got too many morons as it is. Huh? What'd you say? Oh no, this is a bad situation. Say what? Oh, that's it. I'm gonna pound your face into dust. Oh, so you're going to fight me then? You want a battle? Think this might foreshadow something? Exactly. You, uh, you get it, Gobblemon. Well, if that's how you want it, bring it on. Akino is in danger. Takumi! Hey, Rose. What's going on, dude? How you doing tonight, man? Her demo's been a bad boy. <laughs> dude won't stop making really bad jokes, so I timed him out for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? Takumi? Ah, who the hell are you? Are you a backup? What? I don't have time for this. Let's finish this. Is it a chill day? Good. Oh, hello. Interesting set of Digimon you have there, sir. Those jokes must have driven, uh, driven you quackers. You don't fucking push it. <laughs> don't you dare fucking push it. Okay, yeah, my attacks are doing nothing, so this is a, uh... This is a story thing. And I see Demo's been timed out again. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Now that's fucking funny. I don't know why I'm even wasting my SP. This is supposed to lose fight. Is this guy so strong hey rose thank you so much for the host dude i appreciate that man what is this i thought it was all talk but <laughs> you lose you have to help nokia with all our strength oh the fucking warp digivolve there we go finally hey there we go uh agumon gabumon what happened to your bodies 
I am War Greymon. I am Metal Garurumon. Our desire to help Nokia has made us Digivolve. Power of friendship, bitch. Digivolve? Now come on, Nokia, let's do this. We'll show you our power. Talk to me. Please do your best. One more time. Your health and stats are back to full now. Oh, thanks, man. Lol's Nokia. Yes, that's her actual name. Her actual name is Nokia, and it's fucking hilarious. I can't not think of her as a foreign. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. Poisoned. Man, it is so handy that both these Digimon are virus types. Alright, that kind of red cannon beam on. Nokia, more like me. <laughs> Nico, Nico, Nokia. Okay, that one I'll give you. I have to apologize for my bad jokes. It's fine, man. Okay, he resists poison. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I was just, you know, I'm playing into it. They were still pretty bad, though. Okay. Do. Uh. Full recovery is correct. Oh, that's all of them? Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking waste that then. Can I change him since he's out? Oh, I actually can. Okay. Well, this is probably going to be a bad idea. Because Lady Devimon is weaker than, you know, all the, all the other things. But Plesiomon is a data type, so he's weak to both of them. But he does have higher health and defense. Crap. <laughs> Demon's way of saying more bad jokes incoming. <laughs> oh, God. Spirit Bomb! Hey, the poison got him! Of 10 seconds every quack pun you make because it's funny for me. <laughs> I approve. In penetrating medium water attack, alright. I need a better healing skill than that. I really do. <laughs> uh, I, I love turning around and seeing Demo being timed out <laughs> every time. We timed him out as a joke. Kind of a shame Cannon Beamon didn't get any experience for that because he died. Uh, 
Guess I'm not such a legendary infamous hacker after all. Done. Run away. We did it. Thank you too, Takumi. But why are you here, I mean? Some dude is kind of into you and wanted me to protect you because he's... Because he's lame. Ah, I see. You're worried about me. Well, sorry about that. I can that was amazing. Agumon and Gubbamon has got so strong. Uh, Yasu, did you always talk to me to... Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I know it's a bit much, but I was worried. Also, you don't need to call me Yasu. Just Yasu, so he's fine. Yas Queen Slay. <laughs> pro tag with the goggles. Yeah, the pro tag always has goggles, man. Yeah, I got this. Thanks, Yasu. Oh no, that's not it. It's... <laughs> Never mind. From now on, we'll, uh, we'll all do our best as members of the Rebels, okay? Uh, what? What's wrong? Woohoo! I can't... I just can't act enthous uh, enthusiastic about things. It's so not in my nature. S see you later! He's gonna have a cry. He's gonna... He's gonna go have a cry wank in the shower. <laughs> Guy had red liquid coming from his nose. What was that about? Oh, some weird Japanese thing. That's evidence of a direct hit to the love center of his brain by my pheromones. Can you stop talking about your fucking pheromones, you weird, weird, fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> so you evolved too, Nokia. What's your special move? Uh, that's your special move. Awesome. <laughs> Girls are like Digimon. We're always evolving. Anyway, uh, Agumon, Gobblemon, you guys really turned into impressive looking Digimon. It's all thanks to you. We Digimon can only become really strong when we have a close relationship with our master. I'll get as strong as I can protect, uh, as I can to protect you. War Greymon, Metal Gururumon, thank you both. You're the best Digimon I could have asked for. Right, let's get pumped up. Uh, Rebels, time to go kick some ass. Well, that was fucking weird. <laughs> How is Miss Nokia Shiromine? Oh, she's not the kind of girl to give up easily. Anyway, that's interesting about Agumon and Gabumon digivolving. I assume this will make the Rebels' activities even more intense than before. Attention will now be paid to activities of hers that were previously ignored. Maybe she'll be able to change minds after all. Huh? You don't know? Any great historical figure who changes the world is inevitably uh, not appreciated in their own time. They say there is a thin line between foolishness and genius. Perhaps they are right. Well, this case was a, uh, was a, yeah, was a success. Thanks, uh, thanks for the effort you've put in. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> he just doesn't fucking stop. Oh, that is fucking funny. Okay, I need to heal up Cannon Beamon after that. <laughs> Even got Tecto, okay. This 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 has gone too far. This has gone too far. Anime Chick 101 right there. Yeah, the The characters are kinda, you know, very basic. The game didn't tell me that the training stopped. Cool. Uh, to be fair, Tecto made a terrible pun that made me groan. Dude, if it made you groan, oh, that it must have been bad. You kids and your Digimon are all growing so fast, more than you realize. It's really a lovely sight to see unfold right in front of me. I need to discuss Nokia of the Rebels. Can you come to Eden? I understand. I'll send a formal request to your office concerning this matter. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh, memory up. Hell yeah. I have some concerns about Nokia. There's something I need to ask you. 
he wants to meet me in the Saxon forum. Uh, honestly, Digimon just keeps on giving when it comes to impossible uh, situations, just like Persona, ironically enough. <laughs> Uh, have you been to the tournament thing yet? No. Uh, thank you for coming. How's the Cyber Sleuth business going for you? I see. Ah, sorry. That was... Uh, that was what I sent the request about. Okay, I'll get straight to the point. I want you to put an end to Nokia's activities with the Rebels. You understand? Your existence is nothing but an annoyance to me. I want to unite all the hackers once more under my leadership and restore order to Eden. It would be better to cooperate. Of course you'd say that. This world, this Eden, do you like it? I see. I love Eden. How about we go for a short walk? I want to feel more of one with Eden. Right, let's go to the Eden community area. Okay. Uh, leaving the time match just to check. Oh, okay. What do you get if you cross a frog with, uh, some mist? Ah, okay. Okay. Da -ba 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 -ba. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's, uh, that's my response. There, how about we talk, uh, talk on that bench? This bench? Which bench? Oh, this bench. Hmm. Just as I thought. It is indeed a good place. You know why Eden was created? Eden was created to set the mind free. This world is, uh, is the purest form of a dream to free the self from the shackles of the earthly body. Eden is a truly unique place where people are freed from the obligations of their everyday lives, where they can express their true selves. The developers of Eden work themselves to the bone trying to achieve such an ideal world. The developers passed their enthusiasm on to the users, and Eden became a haven for the virtuous... Uh, for, yeah, for the virtuous as they gathered here. Uh, staying the theme of a bird is it Mio's Chocobo GP going to be a Nintendo, ex uh, Nintendo Switch exclusive? I don't know. That is a good question, considering, you know, the original was a PS1 exclusive. Just love how you read it out loud and instantly see and go for the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> what has become of Eden now? Hackers are on the rampage, oppressing the weak with their evil will. Such are the reports flooding in. This world is in turmoil. Eden as it is now is not how it was supposed to be. Not at all. I understand them. Developers who poured their hearts and souls into the great idea that Eden represents. So for that reason I want to protect Eden. More than that, it is my duty to do so. I will persevere- up oh, persevere. Preserve the legacy. Uh, Nokia's a good kid. She genuinely loves Eden and Digimon from the bottom of her heart. The hackers, well, tamers really, who follow her, they are the same as her. So I don't want to get them mixed up in any of this. Myself and those self-centered, egotistical hackers are the only ones who should be at risk. Uh, TGS is happening, so I might get news on it soon. Yeah, yeah, the, uh... The Square Enix presentation is actually happening, like, right now, or it might have just finished, considering it's 9 o'clock. <laughs> uh, you're the only one who can stop her. Please, I need you to convince her. I'll think on it. Uh, thank God I didn't get, uh, someone called, uh, Yumi who would have a nice meme of, uh, I'm you, you're me. God. Yeah, we got Yuko, uh, Yugo and Yuko. Uh, just, just the answer I'd expect from you. You get my point, but you, uh, but you can't abandon Nokia. Is that it? You're very kind. You always were, even back then. 
Back then, what? The time you sneaked into the head office to come Ashiro. Even then, you're always running around concerned for everyone else. Uh, um, uh, Takumi, is it? I tried to contact Nokia, but it seems she was caught up in fighting someone to join us, so I didn't get through to her. She said I should contact you if I was ever in trouble. I love how he's called Weakest Rebel Tamer. Uh, I'm in a bit of a trouble here. I'm in Kowloon. Please come and help me. What? Wait! No, no stop! Whoa! <clears throat> Dead. Seems like an emergency. Uh, aren't you going to help? Uh, aren't you going to go help him? I'll come too. Alright, so whereabouts in Kowloon is he? Probably the beginning. Can get more triangle strategy news? Oh shit, yeah. I didn't even think of that. That would be pretty cool. Didn't check here. Does he happen to be over here? Okay, no, good. I forgot Yugo has fucking machine drum on. I just saw a huge robot butt in my face, like, oh god, what the fuck was that? Okay, it's not here, so we'll check the level two. Uh, here we're getting an expansion to D&D. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard. We don't know if it's 5.5 or 6th edition. Regardless, would be interesting to see. Uh, TGS recently teased... Uh, what I first thought was Final Fantasy Tactics with Etrian Odyssey exploration. What was shown uh, was 3D characters moving through a featureless map on crossword grid with Etrian Odyssey style fight system. Okay. I might need to see that. So that sounds interesting. Second Etrian Odyssey is, you know, mentioned. I'm like, ooh, hello. I'd love to have another Adrian Odyssey game, but they don't really work on something other than the DS. <laughs> Dungeon Encounters, I think it was called. Okay. Piqued your interest? Of course it did. Love me some Adrian Odyssey. Just a shame that, you know, when I tried to stream Metro and Odyssey 5, people got really bored of it. You know what? I something tells me they're on like the highest floor of fucking Kowloon. Digimon's been pre uh, pretty consistent with views. It has. It has. I 
Like, it hasn't been, like, overwhelmingly positive. Like I do with, like, random, like, niche shit. But, like, yeah, viewership has been, like, consistently... Well, consistently high for me. <laughs> What's the new animated series that started? Oh, right, yeah. Digimon Ghost Game. Is, is that the one that has... Like, because I heard something about Appmon. I like Digimon, but not really. Is that the same thing, or is that different? CTR, it's uh, getting a fairly bigger audience too. Yeah. Finally, it only took two years. <laughs> Like, it's almost getting, uh, Mario Kart numbers. And hopefully that will, you know, expand when the, uh, yeah, of course it was the top one. Yeah, hopefully that'll expand when we get the, uh, uh, apparent bloody, uh, PC port that was teased from that leg. Yeah, oh, wait, no, that hurts, stop! Uh! Huh? Don't say such selfish things. You're talking out of your ass. What? N no. Don't lie to me. Called me a has-been hacker, didn't you? Uh, no, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I, I didn't say anything about you. Ah, oh, talk to me. And is that you go from the Saxons? Please help. I was trying to help out Nokia by getting this has-been hacker to join us. You fucking idiot. <laughs> but, well, then this happened. What? Ah, talk to me, you go hell. Has been hacker, eh? You'll need a change with the times too, I suppose. You, you're going to stand up for that little shrimp? Who's mocking his hackers? So what? If what that little shrimp blurted out is enough to hurt your pride. Oh, excuse me. Oh, fuck. I gotta stop drinking so much fucking coke. Jesus. Hello. Why, why is Twitch giving me the option to see what he, uh... Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I... <laughs> the fucking... Uh, the chat section says, Hey, click here to see the deleted message. And I went to click on it and it's just message deleted. It's like, oh, thanks. Thanks, Twitch. <laughs> uh, if what that little shrimp blurted out is enough to hurt your pride, then I guess your pride is pretty easily hurt, don't you think? What? What are you talking about? Now you're mocking me too? You could easily smash a pathetic loser like you to pieces. Come on, let's go. I don't care if they call you a living legend. That, that's just a load of hot air. Talk to me, let's do it. Bring it on! That leak scene, Chrono Cross, got me so fucking hype. Oh yeah, I, like when I when I read that on that list, I'm like, oh, Roger's gonna go so fucking nuts for that. Oh, the message yourself was message deleted by moderator. Okay. <laughs> okay, now that makes a little bit more sense. Nice miss, dude. <laughs> you just thought I'd fulfill the requirements. God, I love that. Machine Dramon, like, actually hit that time, and it did, like, no damage. You go, I think I might be stronger than you now.
Now, what level did I need a cannon beam on to be to become uh, Vespa Mon or whatever it's called? So, so this is the power of you go up to Zaxxon's. It's on a whole different level from me. You have the ability to change, to improve. If you want, you can visit the Saxon Forum. Our door is open to everyone. This is what I expect from Yugo of the Saxons. Demonic strength and the ability to bring new members in with ease. It would have been better to do this with Nokia. Tell me, why did you join her rebel team? Huh? Why? Um, well, uh, I suppose it's because Nokia is honest. I like Eden. Actually, to be honest, it's more than that. I'm a complete Eden fanatic. I hate what Eden has become. So I wanted to do something about it, but I had no idea what I should do. I was lost. Nokia is protecting Eden and the Digimon in her own straightforward and honest way. When I saw this, I felt like a fool. Like I needed to do something. Anything. So I decided I would help Nokia with this uh, simple, honest approach. Uh, do you have the ABI to get Vespamon yet? I believe I do. I think it was just like stats and level requirement I needed. Huh? Ah, speak of the devil. I'm getting a call from Nokia. Uh, I've got to go take this. Doesn't look like we can stop her. Talk to me. I have a favor to ask you. Could you please protect her? Nokia, I mean. You and I are similar, actually. We're being led on a wild goose chase. But please, be ready. Next time we meet, we'll be enemies. Oh no! He asked you to protect her? First case was just a hinder her activities, wasn't it? That boy's confused. What I'm hearing from your story, it sounds like his feelings for Eden and his sense of duty are just teenaged angst. Oh, well, that's good. Most people are not moved by mere words. Possible events of the future should propel you forward. Anyway, the boy paid us a, uh, paid us our fear. Honest and proper, that. Maybe a little confused, but he was raised right. Actually, it's probably because he is so well raised that he's confused. Mega Man, Mega Man. Uh, what was that? Uh, gloves, two marks, circle, and <laughs> hint your shirt. I'm not wearing that shirt. <laughs> I'm not wearing that shirt. I got my uh, Beelzemon shirt on. Memory up. I managed to attract quite the diverse group of people. Don't know how rare that it is in a detective to have that trait. Ding. Let's see, I want to go check up on my Digimon. Okay, what's the requirements I need? Yeah, I have the ABI. So yeah, just level 50 and a thousand HP is what I need. So I need 30 more HP and two more levels. Easy. What next? K Cafe, got it. Oh, you again. Yeah. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Oh, talk to me. Uh, how long have you been there? Looks like, uh, looks like your many years of experience as a detective have made you a master of stealth. Has it been years? And you know it's a great song, uh, Bielsa Boss by Tenacious D. It's a good song. I, I can't wait to hear Bowser play that in the Mario movie. <laughs> yeah, no, that can't be right. Hmm, what am I worrying about? Damn it, how could you tell? Too good at the detective stuff. 
Well, maybe it's better to ask you about this anyway. Doesn't seem like I'm going to solve this one on my own. I guess we're, you know, doing another dumb thing for him. Long flame symbol. Oh, uh, what should I do? What can I do? Is there something I can give to win over a girl's heart? <laughs> Christ. We're a detective agency. Not a relationship counseling. Uh, your girlfriend will be getting out of the hospital soon. You want to give her a present? Ah, Coco, keep your voice down a bit. Sucker, she's not my girlfriend yet. Huh? Not yet. What on earth does that mean? Uh, um, I, well, look, if you want to give her a present, just give her whatever you want. I'd like to get something a girl would like. Could you help me choose something? But you know you'll, uh, you'll have to pay for this if it's an official case, right? That's okay. I just wanted to have the best possible present. Well, I mean, she's just getting out of the hospital, that's all. Don't you think you're taking this a bit too far? Jeez, give it a rest already. I know you're a detective and all, but stop constantly analyzing every little thing for once. <laughs> it's a personal rule of mine not to take on a case unless I completely understand it. But okay, I suppose I can make an exception. Just for now. Just for now? Sounds scary. Bowser gets a broken horn to be defeated. <laughs> God. Uh, sometimes I feel I need to... I had need to blame Depeche Mode for enjoying electro music. Uh, it comes with the parents only having the audio K7 to put in the car, I guess. Ah, uh, get old Depeche Mode. Just can't get enough. Just can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> I need money in order to buy the present, so I'll get a part-time job. I heard about some good uh, haunted spots outside of Eden. Not this shit again! I told you to sit in that house for three months to get the free money, but you're like, no, it's too scary. <laughs> it's too scary. I'll do a super sketchy thing instead. I'll still need your help. Mm, still working in ghost photography. Oh, right. That's what it was. Fucking ghost photography. Well, I guess that's fine. So we're looking for something a girl would like. Sorry, but I stopped thinking like a girl a long time ago. You're too worldly, so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. In this situation, I'd say you should ask your feminine friends. Hmm, your feminine friends. Yeah, Nokia maybe? Yeah, perfect. It's probably not really that kind of person, but at least she will try her best. Or at least that's how she seems to be. Hmm, I think she's in, uh, I think she's in Shinjuku right now. Go and ask her for an opinion on girls' presence. Alright, going to Shinjuku for dumb reasons. Nokia's suggestion, egg. <laughs> Can I offer you this egg in this trying time? Alright, where is she? Knowing the game, she's probably up here. Oh, I can just talk to randos as well, but uh, hey, Nokia, what's up? Hmm, what's up? Is there some burning question you desperately need to ask me? Yeah, uh, what kind of presents do girls like? You're a girl. You're of the female persuasion. Huh? You're looking for a present for a girl? Do you have any more information than that? Hmm. A girl's present? You're talking to me. Why are you asking me about this? Because you are a girl. You have a woman. You are, you have woman bits. Uh, oh, gee, you like someone, don't you? But you already have me. Wait, is that why? But since you can't have me all to yourself, you need to find somebody else. That's probably it. Alright, you think a bit too highly of your fucking self. Guess I'm just too intimidating for most guys. If nobody ever gets close to me because they're afraid, not a good sign. But Takumi and me, we aren't like that. Well, yeah. 
As rebels, we all share the same goals, the same ideals. Have a special relationship that can overcome any obstacle. You fucking weirdo. What's the request again? Ah, oh, it's about the present for a girl. Uh, you came to the right place. I happen to be an expert on the matter. When it comes to presents for girls, you can't go wrong with accessories. Accessories! Girls eat, sleep, and breathe accessories. They're a little pricey, but what about a necklace from Vivian's? Let's discuss the back of the office. A necklace? Not bad. I think anything over a thousand bucks uh, would hurt a high school student's wallet a bit too much. Dude, there is no way in fuck even someone like me would pay a thousand bucks for a necklace. Fuck that. Yeah, an egg necklace? Yeah, the price is one thing, but honestly, rather than getting her something so girly, I think it would actually be better to give her something romantic. A present that shows that I've uh, put some thought into it. Hmm, a romantic present. I know I said I wouldn't ask too many questions, but I have one for you now. Huh? What are you talking about? You know she's just getting out of the hospital. Why are you so concerned with getting her such an amazing present? This... This is a chance for me. For me to tell Sakura. To tell her how I feel. Tell her how you feel? Hmm, what exactly would that be? Well, I mean, you know, that I... I love her. Love? Love? You like this Sakura girl? Yeah, no shit he does. Well, of course I do. Why else would I want to tell her how I feel? I see, but why do you like her? Well, I don't really know. I guess I just can't leave her and I want to be with her. I'm the only one who can protect Sakura. Oh, I'm Ryota. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. Hey. Hey, wait, hey, stop that. Stop saying that. Stop it. That's fucking creepy. It doubles as an emergency ration. Jesus. Enough already. That's it. Now, to, uh, now do what I hired you to do. <laughs> he really is a self-conscious teenage boy. He's an honest kid. We should definitely keep helping him. Well then, hmm, romantic present. I think you need to go looking for a romantic friend of yours to ask their opinion about this. What do you think? So, a romantic friend. Yuko? No, Arata doesn't give two shits, so Yuko has to be it. I think she's more passionate than one would expect, but she's not the romantic type. Why would it be Arata? Wouldn't think so. I'd say he's quite the romantic. Nani? <laughs> think he's an Akihabara. Go and ask him about a romantic present. What the fuck would he... Alright. He's a shut-in nerd. What the fuck would he know about romance? Hey guys, thanks for stopping. Sega! Get out the way, you fucking... Got a question for me? Why are you being so normal? A uh, formal for? No? Huh? Looking for a romantic present for a girl? Romantic? <laughs> Kinda old-fashioned, don't you think? Anyway, why are you specifically asking me this? Because the game wanted me to for some reason. I don't know why the game wants me to talk to a shut-in nerd about romance. Huh? I'm a romantic? What are you talking about? What? You hear a Kyoko's behest? I don't think why she would say such a thing. Yeah, good fucking- oh my god. Hmm. Romantic, you say. That's it. How about something like poison and a dagger? What? What's with the face? It'd be such a romantic present. You know, I'd like Romeo and Juliet. You heard of them, right? 
<laughs> I don't want to hear about that fucking shit. Come on. One of Shakespeare's tragedies is about the forbidden love of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo thinks that Juliet has died, so he drinks poison and kills himself. But Juliet is actually alive, and when she sees that Romeo is dead, she takes a dagger and sticks it uh, in her own heart. What do you think? Romantic, right? This guy's a fucking psycho. Well, I don't know. There's just something touching about such a profound and dramatic gesture. It's a romantic present, and that's that. It's a joke. Just a joke. Sure it is. You're the one who labeled me as a weirdo. I was just getting back at you. But you are a weirdo. Hmm, romantic present. How about a ticket to a theme park? Have you, uh, have you never heard of memories are better than possessions? Ride the rides, see the parades, kiss underneath the starry sky. I was like that kind of stuff, right? I'll discuss it back at the office. Ooh, hello, more points in Final Fantasy Thirteen. Wow, going to a theme park, kissing under a starry sky. Just as I thought. It's quite the romantic. You should have heard his first fucking attempt. Ugh. Uh, what do you think? Uh, should they enjoy a date at the theme park? Hmm. Uh, a date? A date? I feel like going on a date should be the next step. First, I'd like to get her a present that really grabs her. Hmm. Sh uh, sure do have a lot of conditions. Actually, I've been thinking. I'd rather the present wasn't too unusual. Something simple but elegant. Hmm. Actually, you have a good point there. But simple but elegant is a bit ambiguous. Okay then. I gotta go, uh, go to my job. Please go on. I'll speak with you later. It's the third time he's done that. I guess I should be used to it by now. But I don't get why he keeps leaving us to do all the work. There's something simple but elegant. She's not simple, but there's only one friend of yours who I can think of who would give uh, give you that kind of advice. Yuko. Yeah, looks like she's at, uh, she's at Kamashiro right now. Just go and ask her about something simple but elegant. She should be able to tell you something useful anyway. Mega Man, Mega Man. Alright, finally the game tells me that the farms are done. Okay. I hate it when the game's just like, nah, I'm not gonna tell you. Get strong. Get strong. Kamashira Enterprises! Oh, hello. Dark Tyranimon Metal. Okay, apparently I missed that. Uh, while our friendship may fall within the bounds of... Oh, while our relationship may fall within the bounds of friendship, touch me so brazenly as... Oh, you got something to ask me? Huh? Looking for something simple and delicious? Or... Oh, sorry. It's simple and elegant. My bad. Um, what do you mean exactly? Please explain in a bit more detail. Of course, you're looking uh, looking for something a girl would like. I get it now. But I don't think that's the best plan. Starless, it's a present for someone that's been picked out by someone who doesn't know them. The gift giver needs to think about what the recipient might like. What might make her happy? Think ser yeah, think seriously. Consider it. Ponder it. Mull, uh, mull it over, then choose the best possible present. That's what giving a present is all about. It's not what you get. It's the time and energy spent thinking about what might make the other person happy. That's the present's true value. Please tell this client who can't decide on a present to think as carefully as he can about the person he wants to give the gift to. Huh? Me? 
What would make me happy? Food. <laughs> Girl, you look, you look and act like you haven't eaten in years. Hmm, that's a good question. Onigiri. Of course. That's what I'd want. Onigiri. Made with love. Nice big onigiri. What? Onigiri's not good? Moga Moga. Uh, <laughs> she said that the time spent thinking about the best uh, possible present is a true gift. Hmm, she has a point there. Wow, of course, that's it. It's exactly what I should do. Yeah, think! <laughs> I'll think about it, seriously, and on my own. I'll think about what I should make uh, Sakura up. I'll think about what would make Sakura happiest. Okay, thanks, Takumi and Kyoko. Woohoo! Does he really need to go off running and shouting like that? Where the hell is he going anyway? Uh, Tim the Totodile, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Glad to see you're enjoying yourself here, man. Uh, youth is wasted on the young. Ding. There we go. Uh, curious to see how this budding romance turns out in the end. Wishing the best of luck out there at recording her. PS4 or Switch? Neither. PC. Chapter 10, we are now officially halfway through the game. Yeah, hackers of Saxon, of Kowloon. No, all of Eden. I ask you this. Are you free? Free from involvement, interference, monitoring. Do such freedoms exist in Eden today? How? It's on Steam. Uh, what about Eden's prototype? The birthplace of us hackers, our holy land. Oh, oh my god, I can't read this quickly. Uh, space seen as ideals by the creator of this digital world much freer, offering a better life. <laughs> uh, Under Zero was seized when Eden was launched and turned into an unmanned server to control information. Now it's nothing more than a fortress outfitted with the toughest security in the world. Under Zero, our ideal home, is now the oldest of Eden's servers, the Valhalla server. It's time for us hackers to take back our utopia. To bring a new order to Eden, to release it from a freedom filled with monitoring and interference. We Saxons hereby declare the reclamation of our holy land, Under Zero. If there are any who share our uh, inner aspirations, then join us for Under Zero! Uh... <laughs> Looks like the plot is finally, you know, happening. Now that was certainly something. That was quite the impassioned speech. Reckon you'll make a fine boss someday. We'll save Eden. I'll put on whatever performance I have to, no matter how foolish. Even if I have to resort to all ta uh, to tall tales and legends. But I can just get to Under Zero. I can redo all of this. I can recreate Eden in its creator, uh, as its creator originally envisioned. I reckon your wish will come true, and I'll be with you every step of the way. Inspired by Yugo's speech, the hackers began to make their way to Under Zero, the Holy Land. Let's rewind things a bit. Okay. Oh, it's me! It's me! Are uh, you not busy? Uh, no, I didn't think you would be. We're all getting together at Eden Free area. What to bring? Oh yeah, your nerve and your friendship for Digimon. Okay, see you there. And if you're late, I can no hell smash. We'll see you in the hospital. All right. Distant cousin to the Hell Scream clan. <laughs> I, I I want a version of Nokia now that is just a fucking Warcraft orc. <laughs> Uh, off to the Eden Free area. Oh, an egg. Yeah, bring an egg. Alright, get to Eden. 
Mega Man, Mega Man. Uh, Sucker's out of the hospital. Yeah, good for you. Uh, good to hear. Yeah, sure. Oh, right, yeah, they digivolved. Forgot about that. Should I imagine her favorite alcoholic drink is eggnog? Oh, probably is. <laughs> Jeez, you're uh, always so late. What is it? Something or other? Working on boss man time? There, there, Nokia. Maybe go easy on him. Uh, maybe go easy this time. You got a point. After all, Takumi is an important aid to the rebels. Guess maybe I could let things slide. Alright everyone, here's, uh, here's my helper for today's training. The unstoppable cyber sleuth and new super hacker, Takumi the Golden Maniac. Okay, interesting nickname you've given me. Takumi the Gain- uh, Golden- <laughs> The Gate? That's a fucking Freudian slip. Uh, Takumi the Golden Maniac. One who took down the strange hacker group, the Demons? Takumi the Golden Maniac, gifted hacker that successfully managed to infiltrate Kamashiro? That's right, that Takumi the Golden Maniac, my total bestie, finest, fiercest uh, confidant. Uh, what do you think? Who better to help train the rebels? Alright, go on then, Takumi the Golden Maniac. Can you stop calling me that place? Okay, I'll go first, here we go! Alright, we're just jumping into a fight. Alright, cool. I love the cheery fucking music behind this fight, though. It doesn't feel right. Way to go, GM. That's better. Uh, but we're just warming up. Okay, I guess I'm next. Uh, yeah? Uh, seems like Takumi's been kind of lost in all this. Are you sure I explained everything uh, properly? Um, well, I chose the nickname Golden Maniac from the way Takumi looks. And then GM was just an obvious, uh, obvious cool abbreviation of that. Not that, I'm talking about the training. What? I explained it, didn't I? Talk to me? What? I didn't explain? Oh, crap. Should have said something. You're too quiet for your own good, talk to me. Uh, what we wanted, talk to me, was for you to train them for battle skills. So they'd be stronger against those nasty hackers. That's not all. The point of the training is not just strength. It's also to deepen our bonds with our Digimon. It's all like our Hot Springs ping pong matches and our all night karaoke. If we can pull through those kinds of events, we should be able to achieve true power beyond brute strength. And with that power, we can help the Digimon being misused by hackers in order to make Eden a home for, uh, for us all. Yeah, power of friendship and all that shit. Uh, to be fair, two of your previous Digimon love to have gold on them. Good point. Good point. <laughs> I, I I loved my duo of Gajramon and Gajramon Gold. Uh, we rebels hereby declare our decision to begin the We Love Digimon initiative. You'll join us to tr uh, yeah, you'll join us to train us for this tra uh, transcendental dream, right? Talking to me. Finally, such an impassioned speech. Akano's bursting with power and devotion. It's fun getting tossed about by the tsunami of her power. This is what true charisma is. <laughs> oh, it's you, 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 So this is your dream. These hackers—they're your team. Well, what are you here for? 
As the leader of the Saxons come to c c c c crush the rebels? If you are a threat to the Saxons, then that might be an option for me to consider. But from the looks of things, there doesn't appear to be any need of that. But what do you mean by that? Are you saying we're still noobs? Uh, she unironically said noob. Alright. Yeah, you think you can just look, da uh, look down your nose at us? You want to test our power then? What? Well, sure, we were beaten silly last time by that girl, Faye. But do, uh, but do we just take that lying down? But Nokia, Yugo isn't a bad hacker, is he? I sort of get the impression that he's not. And Digimon sure do talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you're telling me. <laughs> Yugo, you're a hacker group leader. Hackers will listen to you. Tell them. Tell them Digimon are not just programs. There's something else I need to tell the hackers. Your speech was inspiring, though. What? Nokia. Nokia, if at all possible, I'd rather not fight you. Just don't interfere with me. With Saxon. Hey, hang on a sec, Yuga. You planning something? Yo, hang on, I said. Now are we jumping forward to what we just did? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we hackers are going to take back our utopia. The Saxons are going to declare the reclamation of our holy land. Under Zero. If any of you share in our aspirations, then join us. For Under Zero! Oh. <laughs> she did an ara ara, goddammit. Oh my, things are coming along nicely. Push them all- Yeah, push them all to the edge very well. Now it's down to her to do her part. I'll drop to the security level a little to increase their uh, sense of accomplishment. They should easily reach their goal now. Excellent, okay, uh, Akimi. Uh, you're a master strategist. I'm glad. I was worried that I had pushed her too far. She might have snapped. <laughs> to stimulate the passion of youngsters such as these. We have such excellent motivational tools. Pressure from the authorities, family ties, and despair itself. Youngsters are wonderful. The frustration, dreams, and hope they get from a gloom-filled society. And the more pressure of despair you add, the more you sublimate it. it uh, the more you sublimate it into a into a vibrant passion. God damn my dyslexia! Jesus Christ! So very bright, it dazzles my eyes. Jesus Christ. How'd I look? Did I get the villain thing right just now? <laughs> that was... That's what I love about you, Akimi. And now we just sit back and wait for them to get completely violent with each other. All as I have planned, of course. I was half expecting, like, the Ojo laugh, like the, oh, ho, 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 like that kind of thing. As I mentioned previously, Soweto got some nice themes, yeah. He does have a nice theme. Like, that's the, that's the thing with this game, it's like, a, a lot of the music this game has is really good, but some of it just kind of falls flat. So you were training with them all? Yeah, you were training with them all night long? Too much of an easy mark. Never have enough time with Nokia. She'll use you up and spit you out. No, thank you. Hey, you're here, you're here. Oh, we have a rudder as a bonus. What do you mean, as a bonus? Haven't you heard? The Saxons are on board with the other Zero invasion. What? Is up with my fucking nose. Oh, stop being itchy. Yeah, it seems that all the hacker community can talk about now. Did you, uh, did you know, Arata, that Under Zero is a hacker? Uh, is a hacker Holy Land? They probably don't care, though. What? A Holy Land? Don't be absurd. It's just an old, outmodded area on some old, outmodded server. You should see the look in their eyes when they talk about taking it back. Actually, there are some among the, re uh, among the rebels who have taken special training and want to show it off. They're planning to join in. 
Oh, the leader being who she is, it's no wonder the simple minded are coming together. A rumph. <laughs> Uh, battle theme wise, uh, I feel it has the same issue as Final Fantasy X. Great battle theme, of, uh, overwhelming the actual boss theme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as much as I love Final Fantasy X, if you tell me to, like, yeah, if you tell me to, like, hum the boss theme, I would not know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Battle theme though. I love that battle theme. So good. Uh, what do you say, Takumi? Do you want to go take on Under Zero too? It'd be like climbing a mountain, because it's there. Or crashing through a wall, because it's there. Uh, this could be a chance to uh, raise our public awareness level. Uh, what with me, uh, what with my having formed a tamer group and all. If the rebels manage to beat Saxon in breaking into Under Zero, we'll rocket into superstardom, and then we could promote out. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. It's not a place newbies like you are going to be able to reach. You'll be beaten at your own game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, who are you calling a newbie? You've piled on the special training to become extra strong, right, Takumi? Uh, check boss theme would uh, be the exception though. That's a banger worthy. Oh, dude, o other world is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Fine, I'll go by myself. And I'll definitely get in before the Saxons do. Leave her be. If she gets herself hurt running off half cocked. It's her own fault. Yeah, he said cock. <laughs> I'm an adult. Ah, dang it, forget it, we're going after her. Under Zero is way too dangerous, if things go the way they did last time. Anyway, we have to go after Nokia. I've got a little prep work to do first. Let's meet Neiden. Seven fucking messages, Jesus Christ. Uh, what French Revolution occurred during Marie, uh, Marie, An uh, Marie Antoinette's reign? Uh, excuse me. Uh, Versailles? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> My bad, send a message for Darte to you by accident. Pay it no mind. Okay. It, yeah, sure. <laughs> French dang nabbit. I'm sorry I don't know, f like, French shit, alright? We didn't learn that shit in, uh, in Australian, uh, education because, you know, it wasn't Australian. Alright, yeah, that's... Oh, hello. Yo, you a sleuth? Top score disappeared from the game. Was that you? Well, if you're involved, let me thank you. Meet me at Nakano Arcade. How's it taking that long for me to get, you know... <laughs> for me to get one of these things? Hey, who was the... No, it's true. Uh... This guy, wasn't it? I'm at the arcade. <laughs> Be quiet and playing hide and seek. Stop, they're gonna find me. Just take this go away. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. See, uh, Versailles was, uh, before the revolution and the Napoleonic after the revolution. Okay. In the end, it's not important because answering it correctly doesn't give me anything. Alright, so if it's not here, it must be like higher levels then. 
No prizes, boo. Yeah, I know. It sucks, right? I hate that the game just gives you a whole bunch of trivia, but gives you nothing for getting it right. Okay, he's still... Wait, I got distracted. Where the fuck are we supposed to be going? <laughs> I got distracted by this fucking trivia thing. Where the fuck was I actually supposed to be going? Guy? No, that's not it. Uh, Goldmon, Blackmon, and uh, Golden Blackmon is team. <laughs> uh, keyword. No, I wouldn't be in player. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, of course the thing doesn't tell me. <laughs> You're winning? Not at the moment, because I, <laughs> I blanked on what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. The game gave me some random trivia question about a French Revolution, and I, uh... I kind of forgot what I was actually supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay. Chapter 10. Alright. Uh, meter rotor in community area hacks the Avalon. So, okay, in community area is where I need to go to. There we go. As always, Nokia is moving ahead on impulse alone. Looks like she's gotten quite far, too. The other hackers have gotten into the Valhalla server and are heading for under zero. Something doesn't smell right, though. Valhalla server shouldn't have gone down so fast. Either Yugo invited us in, or someone else did. Either way, it reeks of a trap. Anyway, we won't catch up with Nokia taking the direct route. But there is a shortcut. This is a secret passage my comrades and I dug out way back when. I... We took down Valhalla once before. We can reminisce later. Uh, we'd better hurry to get to the Valhalla server. Probably all the egg offerings turning rotten, I'm sure. Ah, here we go, Valhalla server. I love how all the servers are just this. Okay, where's Nokia? Doesn't look like she's around here. We'll just have to press on and look for her. Another seven fucking messages, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, the French Revolution. Yeah, I learned that now. Yeah, helping your friends, no problem. Don't neglect clients, alright. Uh, get an encrypted message from, uh, Mata Yoshi. It's sent to you by mistake. Uh... It was a simple cipher. <laughs> God. Uh, no one gave sucker a bouquet of roses. Show her how I feel. And what was the result? Please tell me. I'm, I'm totally interested. I'm totally interested in the romance plotline of the side characters that have, like, little to do with this game. Oh, hey, Leomon.
Okay, time to one shot. Well, that's a lot of damage. Hold on, did I get a memory up before that I missed? No, alright. I remember getting a, uh, a memory up uh, a while ago, I just can't remember if I used it. Hey look, Gajramon and Tankamon! It's, it's my old team! Look how much stronger they've gotten! I still find it weird that Tankmon is data type, not virus. Yet Gardramon is a virus type. That just seems wrong. Wow, that did fuck and all. It was it 10 o'clock already? Jesus. That's had a lot of bloody uh, cutscenes. Thank you! I ran out of revival capsules and none of the, uh, none of the stores want to actually sell them. I need them desperately. And they have one revival capsule and it's like an AoE revival thing. I do not want to waste that. Oh, hey, look, it's revolver cylinders for hands, man. Oh, okay. Spunk then. I keep forgetting. Solid attack, my dude. Oh, hell yeah, another circle, my favorite. Scan. Unlock code. Patent red error, patent red error. Okay. So don't use red. 
Hey, farm expansion plugin. I'm still waiting on my third farm. Okay, so <laughs> speaking of farms, get strong. Get strong. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Great modern Digivolve 2! What the fuck is that thing? What are you, man? It is just Sword Dragon. Jesus, alright. A Ujin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Defense penetrating strong electric attack on one foe. Tends to crit more often. Increase attack and crit by 10%. What the fuck, man? Jesus. Okay. What's cooler than dragon? Dragon with swords for weapons, wings, and a tail. That's fucking crazy. Okay, so yeah, Cannon Beam on needs one more level and 20 more HP. So yeah, considering that you only get 10 HP per level, that means there's a minimum of two. What am I doing? Oh. I kind of forgot that there's a, uh... DNA Digivolution with Angel Woman and uh, Lady Devimon. <laughs> that, that. I kind of want her. I kind of want her just to see that. But that is a high fucking requirement. You need an ABI of at least 80, camaraderie of 100%, and a camaraderie, a camaraderie of 100% specifically with an Angel Woman. <laughs> That's a bit too much. Yeah, and you're maxed out, so I'm going back. Honestly, I am not digging Plessyomon. Like, yeah, he big strong boy, lots of health. Koelamon could be an Andromon? Okay. Oh yeah, this is a Digimon I got while uh, off stream. <laughs> Catch Mamemon. Just a Mamemon in a like gambling UFO thing. It's weird. Oh, and a uh, Skull Sartamon. The fuck is this thing? Farm two. Oh, here we go. Jerrymon, did you evolve two? <laughs> Superstar Mon. <laughs> okay. Superstar uppercut, physical attack, 115 light damage. Increases probability of combos occurring, continuing by uh, 10%. Okay, then. Oh, Monzaemon. Well, 
why can Cubimon be... The, oh, whatever. Wait, level 30 for the thing that I don't have. It's level 27. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> of course, the other side had a farm development kit. Alright, do, 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 do. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Farm number three. Finally. Now let's expand this a bit. Flame symbol and electric symbol. There we go. Now, let us convert, because I have a whole fucking bunch. Got a whole bunch of Digimon just from grinding. Fucking Stingmon is one of them. And yeah, Wasmon as well. And Woodmon. Alright. Now, what po ugh, Pokemon? What Digimon do I have? Do I think are cool that deserve. Yeah, let's say Wake Room on Black. Since we already have Lady Devimon, might as well train up a Gatomon, why not? Stingmon. Now the Wasmon wouldn't hurt. Gazimon's kind of cool. Color deficient. <laughs> Doesn't have enough melanin. And then Starmon. Woodmon. And specifically, not putting a piece of shit in the farm. Alright, new Digimon. Train. Come as strong as you possibly can. Look at that fucking thing following me. The thing, that used to be a Gardramon. SP spray B. Angemon 2.0 is uh, still too cool to float around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard you were the best window wash in your elementary school. Okay. That's a very weird rumor, but whatever.
Oh, hello. That's a platinum Sakamon. These things hand out experience like a motherfucker. This is going to be a good place to grind. Oh, they have 5,000. 5,000 points of experience for one. Alright, so I need to fight a whole bunch of those until I get enough to be able to create two. And that is... That is how I'll get a metric fuck ton of experience. Because when they are in the party, I gain an experience buff. So having two in the party and fighting a whole bunch of them. Oh boy. Remember kids, look out for a uh, precious looking poop if you're low on XP. <laughs> to go back to the Digilab. I need to go back to the Digilab, get Infernumon. Because without him, I can't actually use my, uh, my ability that forces a fight. Because I need a Digimon without a, uh, without a type. Also, I did not check. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Wasmon needs another 10 HP. Let's see, Amon, you can fuck off. Uh, where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. Alright chat, time to farm. We may be here for a while because something tells me that is a rare spawn. Platinum on. I keep doing that. <laughs> like, the button to exit the game is also the button to turn on auto battle. Take a while. This is the boring crap that I usually do, like, off-stream. 
but I'm pretty sure if I keep going, I won't be able to come back here again. So, doing this here now, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Solid miss. really is going to fucking take forever. This is going to suck because I think uh, just fighting Platinum Suckamon once only gave me like 20% scan. So I'm probably going to. Yeah, like, and I haven't found one since, so. Actually, I think I have a. Uh, I think I have a piece of equipment that actually increases scan rate. By settings. Da, da, da. Don't need this anymore. Increases data obtained when scanning. I hope these stack. That looked like that stacked. Oh shit! Cannon B1 has what he needs. Do to do. Cannon B1, did you evolve too? And look at that thing. Tiger Vespamon is fucking mad. It's so cool looking. Mark Stinger. Six physical attacks, 20 electric damage to one foe tends to crit more often. 10% chance of paralyzing target when attacking. Trying to compress those cannons, yeah. Turn cannons into swords. Stealing Mega Beedrill's drills for himself, I see. <laughs> Way cooler than Mega Beedrill. He's just a robotic bee themed common Rider with swords. Like, judging by the exhaust pipes on his shoulders, like, fused with, like, a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Ooh, 
Digimon designs are fucking wild, man. I'm never gonna find a Platinum Suckamon, aren't I? We're gonna be here all fucking stream. If I didn't see that Platinum Suckamon, I would've just kept going, but no. Grind the stream to a fucking halt, let's go. Grind it to a halt so future streams won't be, you know... Won't be as uh, disastrously uh, grindy. <laughs> I love that delayed death. You know how hard it is to poop platinum into semi solid sentient matter. <laughs> My chat out of contact. <laughs> Come on. Solid miss. I, I love the wimpy fucking uh, tankmon punch. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I think it might actually be faster if I find out how to, like, Digivolve, like, one of the Digimon that I have already into Platinum Suckamon, I think that might be faster. I'll piss off in your fucking privacy policy. Uh, do do Can evolve from a Karamon, a Hagurumon, and a Hackmon. Ooh, I have Catch Mamemon, which I can de-digivolve into it. Alrighty, <laughs> I can at least get one. Uh, 
which one of these had catch mommy one in it sorry dude but you have to be sacrificed for the greater good <laughs> There we go. Yep. Platinum service increases XP earned in battle. Now, I believe... Uh, in my bank... I... Aha! I have a Sumemon. Oh, I don't have... Hold up. Sorry. Sorry, Lady Davymon. I have to. There we go. So he digivolves into, what is it called, Karamon, which eventually uh, becomes Platinum Sakamon. So I'll do like a couple of fights to get the experience for, uh, for that. <laughs> Yeah, god damn it. I wasted so much time. <laughs> I, I should have just looked up how to make it myself instead of trying to find them in the wild. Quack, quack. Sumimon into a Karamon. Another fight. Okay, they got it to level 11. That's not gonna be enough. I think level 16 might be, like, usually where rookies become champions. Okay, I'll do one more fight just to be safe. Of course I get ambushed. I 
There we go. Did you both care him on? Level 20, fuck off. <laughs> Fucking level 20 piece of shit. <sighs> We're all done. There we go, level 20, now I can bloody do it. What do you want? Mega Man, Mega Man! Alrighty, there we go. There we go. I now literally have that good shit. There you go. You two are gonna be in the party for a while. Won't use you right off the bat because, you know, I've already wasted enough time getting both of you. Let's actually progress the game, shall we? I wasted a solid half hour there. Just a solid half hour. More circles, my favorite. Oh, memory up, hell yeah. Thank you. I need that so desperately now I'm like getting to the point where I can like easily get mega evolutions. Sorry, mega digivolutions, this isn't Pokemon. I just noticed Platinum Soccer Monster fans. Oh, wrong button. Look at that. Fucking maxed out. Jesus. <laughs> hey, bank expansion drive. Medical spray. Alright, what do we got here? <sighs> Fucking, what was the... That's right, I needed a data Digimon. Uh... 
All right, let's go back. God damn it. On the wrong way. Why are these abilities locked to, uh, locked to having certain types of Digimon in the party? It's so dumb. <laughs> So completely unnecessary. I right, sorry, I forgot the keys. Doramon's the one that player has the least memory use. Let's try this again. Unlock code. Pattern blue error, pattern green error. Pattern yellow okay, pattern purple error. Does that mean yellow is okay for this one? Or does that mean top right? Oh, why did it have to be puzzles? Like, just immediately. Fucking immediately. Please let this be right. Gotta hope I'm correct with that. I'm not code. Pattern blue error, pattern green, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got this correct, I believe. Uh, where it was green? Ah, there's green. There we go, now I've got the Sims crystal over my head again. Uh, it was green, yes? Yeah.
Oh, hey, that's something new. That's, uh, XVmon, yeah? Blue, okay, okay. I think blue is over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, all right. Mega Man, Mega Man! Okay, farms are done. the other farm. Yep, there we go. Alright, so by process of elimination... And the last one is purple. Now you show up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Did I miss something? <laughs> All right. What have I done wrong? The purple was a fucking red herring, of course it was. You son of a bitch. You fucking son of a bitch. Played me like a goddamn fiddle.
Oh, you better work this time, I swear to Christ. There we go. <laughs> Game, you're a fucking son of a bitch. I just had to, like, open up those files in the worst bloody, uh... Uh, yeah, worst order possible. That looks like under zero. Ego and the others must have made it already. Hurry up, Rebels. Let's go do this. Really outdone yourself, you little hellion. Just glad things haven't gone any farther than they have. Ah, Takumi and Arata. Coming with us, too. You guys. Hey, what gives? You're too late to stop me, you know. Oh, now I get it. You're gonna have me go in there first, take out the baddies, and then you waltz in and nab all the goodies for yourselves. Sneaky, no good, rotten, manipulating cowards. I'm not letting you do that. No way. Nuh uh. It's nothing like that. Jeez, just calm down. Just don't want you anywhere near under zero. Whoa. That's. It's juicy meat on the bone for yet. Uh, for Jaja? Jaja? No, for Jaja. Juicy meat? It's a legendary meat that only certain celebrities are allowed to eat. Really? You want some? I know you do. Here you go. <laughs> God. Hey, where are you going? Wait up, you guys. Oh, she's so naive. That's why I say she's just a collection of single-celled organisms. Oh, fucking burn. Okay, then. Come this far. It's no turning back now. Along the way, I'll stop you going the Saxons, too. You're with me, aren't you, Takumi? No. Because we gotta do this. Another goddamn circle. Uh, they were gonna give me a bouquet of flowers. Yeah, uh, cool. Uh, I spoke to some kids your age today. Their idea of family made me miss home a bit. Aww. Also, what is that fucking music, though? It sounds like the circular end all circles though, <laughs> yeah. It's a very important circle. Oh my god. It's a D8. These are the only hackers who have made it in this far? There's fewer than I expected. I heard that frumpy brat's voice back there. I reckon she must have gotten them to stay behind. Okie okay, uh. dokie, you go. This here firewall's the final bit of security. Once I break through security, the truth behind Eden will be mine. I'll personally be able to restore order. You'll be the leader of the hackers for sure. No, all of Eden. Leader of Eden? Don't make me laugh. Lucky here. I was wondering who that was. Well, uh, well, well, if it isn't a rudder. Former leader of the Jutes. Say, wasn't it your team that had a go at Under Zero all those years ago and failed before finally disbanding in disgrace? <laughs> you know your stuff. Be a good dog like a Lucy you are. Run a long home now. Git. Yeah, we failed, alright. But it wasn't the security that did us in. Right after we broke through, something attacked us. Before we knew what was happening, we had our accounts destroyed and lost access to Eden. That thing was nowhere near as easy as the security was. Some of my buddies, they went crazy from the fear. Even the guys that were okay, they saw what they were up against and lost confidence in themselves. They quit being hackers, so, I, uh, so we disbanded the team. I came to warn you, keep away from Under Zero if you don't want to see your friends hurt. What proof do you have that, uh, that this story is true? 
but coming here out of concern for our well-being lacks a little in the convincing department. The truth is, I came to stop that idiot Nokia. Then I couldn't just stand by and let that thing prey upon you guys too. It's not right. Even if what you say is true, I have my reasons for not being able to stop now. Even knowing the risks I face, there's something I must obtain. Yeah, get your nose out of our business. I'm right sick of looking at your face. Take a hike. <laughs> Think I came here with just the two of us? So naive. Ah, oh, I got our own hacker team, I guess. Sorry to have kept you in the dark about this. These guys are my old buddies, former members of the Jutes. Brought together my old teammates who broke into Under Zero once before for one last rumble. Looks like we got a little fight in our hands. I like a laugh. You're a funny one. We'll defeat your legendary team of has-been hackers. Because we're the top dogs in Eden now, not you. Fight or Never mind. Hang on a second. To stamp out selfish evil for the sake of the world, for people, and for Digimon. We're the rebels, a bridge of hope, here now, uniting both Digimon and humans. Let there be no more talk of uh, has-been hacker teams and the top dogs of Eden without me. <laughs> Egg Brigade engage. <laughs> Shut the f God damn it. You hackers who push Digimon around, listen up. Digimon are not just mere programs. They are life forms in and of themselves. You must release your Digimon immediately and embrace them as friends. One thing you're good at is uh, as God damn it. The one thing you're good at as always is sucking all the energy out of a room, you frumpy little brat. Seems neither side is willing to back down. <laughs> I'll make this simple then. Reckon the last team standing wins, right? If that's how it's gonna be. Then you're on. I'm ready. There's no way I'm losing. Now, attack! That doesn't look like fighting, they just look like they're chilling. If I win, you'll settle down and listen to me, deal? Very well. I don't plan on losing, though. You always have to, uh, you always have to get the last word. Says you. <laughs> Fucking shit. Alright, Machine Drummond, let's go! Good thing I have two vaccine-type Digimon on my team. It's gonna make this a bit easy. Oh, it's gonna make this very easy. What's that missed? Cross combo. There goes most of its health. All right. Fuck all damage, but whatever. <laughs> nice attack. Alright, Tiger Vespa one is down. Don't want him missing out on the experience. too hard, just kind of a shame that, you know, Tiger Vespamon is, like, kind of low level, in comparison to everyone else. 
Oh, I'll have two Platinum Sakamon, that'll help out. But hey, that memory up though. Seem to still have it. You too. Thought you old school hackers wouldn't know how to use Digimon programs. You've got a geek class specialist in Digimon work. It's very important to have, well, you know. Also have a real pain in the butt. As I said, Digimon are not programs. How many times do I have to tell you? It don't matter. We ain't interested. I only care about one thing, and that's Yugo. Yugo is my everything. To know Yugo. To protect Yugo. That is my purpose in life. All I want is Yugo. Just her. Just her? Alright. Wow. Didn't know you could be sincere. In spite of, in spite of your gross personality. That's kind of sweet. Wait a second. Huh? I just noticed something. You and me are a lot alike. What? Hey, hang on. What are you talking about? Look it off with that nonsense. Great minds hate alike. What? What do you mean by that? It's enough chit chat. Dare you're much different from before. I'll tan your hide. Ready? Took a crash course and beefed up my skills. Won't go down as easily as last time. So you say. Mess you all up. Oh, we get to see them fight, though. Oh, okay, that's the rest of the team. That's the thing that the Digimon that everyone wants to fuck turns into. <laughs> Egg mech transform and roll out. Oh, I actually get to control this. Okay, um... Terra Force. Oh, they're all AoEs. Okay. Oh, game. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck happened there. Alright, they're all teaming up on Wargreymon. That's not good. They know he's the bigger threat here, so... Aura. Uh, that's not good. Ow. Oh, okay, this is supposed to lose fight. Or is it? I'm stuck at left, uh, uh, 1 HP. We're both cheating. So much for training and bonds. What bunk? You're nothing but talk and cheap talk at that. It's over. Bye bye. Okay, so V means victory because of course, Japan. No, no, this is not over. Not our hot springs ping pong matches. Not our all night karaoke. <laughs> Behold, I have plot armor. Not the super love Digimon strategy to the max, because it's about to begin right now. They're gonna DNA Digivolve. Because of course, anime! Girl, how the fuck did you learn how to do that when you didn't even know that Agumon and Gabumon could Digivolve? Omnimon! She angie. 
What, what just... <laughs> okay. Uh, did you see the miracle uh, that the bond between me and my Digimon just made happen? What? Whoa, Greymon, Metal Gururumon. What, what happened to you guys? Even you didn't know? Fucking goddamn it. <laughs> You're in danger. <laughs> Get out! You whipped out that Digivice like the cat what ate the canary. Saying that was just a wing and a prayer? I am Omnimon. I was summoned by the pure bond of friendship. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, you sure were. Just like I knew was... Yeah, just like I knew was going to happen, because I totally knew it the whole time. Alright, Faye. No more Mrs. Nice Guy. Uh, this time you're going down. 2,000 HP, level 50, alright. Transcendent Sword! What is this fucking music, by the way? In penetrating strong water attack on one foe, okay. But AoEs though. Get out of here. Turns out her Tiger Vespamon was the weakest of the team. Really? Really? Come on now. There we go. I can't believe this. Hey, what on earth is a Digimon? Oh, it seems we have a winner. Or do you want to keep going? Or do you have to interfere? I just want to save the world that was my father's dream. Surprise! Hey, hey, what's going on? Mannerisms are suddenly all feminine. What's all... Uh, what's all this about your father? Alright, alright, alright. That's enough. You've done a great job. I really admire you, sweetie. It's Rie. Why don't you just go put your feet up? Your part in this is over now. Your role as Yugo was to bring everyone here. And according to our scenario, once everyone is here, what comes next? It is, oh my god! So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, Yugo is actually Yuko this whole time. <laughs> what is this? What's going on here? Ah, uh, you little hackers are really stupid. And no idea you were being played this whole time. You just blithely came along for the ride. I'm gonna take your unripe mental energy and squeeze and squeeze every last drop. All for me. Oh no, a huge outbreak of Eden Syndrome. If on, I, uh, can you, it, voice. <laughs> it's Kyoko. Since I finally got through, don't think I have long though. What's going on? What the heck is this? As far as I can tell, someone has sent a high-density digital wave to your area. Someone? It's gotta be Kashibe. What do we actually do about it? The answer is relatively simple. Eaters are attracted to digital waves. That being the case, you have to stop the digital wave at its, uh, at its source. Do that and no more eaters should appear. You make it sound so easy. Just plug up the source? How do we manage that? I don't understand what's going on, but I'm not letting myself getting swallowed up by nothing. What's happening? Help! Eek, eek, eek. <laughs> Ugh, shut up. I'll explain later. So just shut it. <laughs> no matter what condition you are in, you'll always move, uh, move at your pace. I'm a little relieved. You, sh 
be able to, to add tight spot. Well, I have a part of my special bl waiting. Uh, make sure to come safely. A special blend? Is that what she said? So happy I could cry. It's also that digital wave. I think that's it. For the time being, let's have a temporary truce. Got to plug that hole. Mr. Rie, why? Why would you do this? This isn't the time to be fretting about that. That's right. If the eaters keep spreading, we'll be in danger too. Karuru <laughs> Greymon, any ideas? Karuru Greymon? Since Metal Gururumon and War Greymon merge, your name should be Gururu Greymon, or do you prefer Grey Gururumon? I am Omnimon. You can call me that. Uh, who cares what you're called right now? Do you have any ideas or not? It is a being manipulated by a high density digital wave. In addition to the source, uh, there are connection points feeding the digital wave. You have to shut them off as well. <laughs> Make sure to what safely now? <laughs> oh, look there, up there. It's a bright light. Very well, I'll go plug the openings. You two, watch after, uh, watch after for Nokia for me. Protect her from the eaters until I return. <sighs> Guess we have no choice. They're here! Let's go! Alright, more fighting. This, this one's gonna be very overtime. Of course. Defense penetrating as well. Come on, man. Alright, just hanging out, chilling, just having a just having a good old look. One shot, get out of here. Cross combo, whole team, let's go. Reversal? What the fuck is that? I can't keep this up forever. It'd be better to destroy them. There's no proof that that would stop them. What'd you do, Nokia? I know what you'd do, Nokia. You'd act before thinking. Like a fucking idiot. They're really starting to outnumber us now. Well, what should we do? Uh, that's... Surprise! What? No way! Yugo! You're kidding me, but Yugo's right here. Can't be. My brother! Surprise! The eaters are fleeing. Yugo! Yugo! So then that was Yugo just now. There are two Yugos? Both of them are Yugo? What the heck? Brother. Uh, I... Miss Rie, what are you... Stop! Did you just log out? Wait, I bet someone in the real world forced her to log out. And apparently I can chase after her. Uh, now they're both gone? Was, was that a connection charm? I've never seen one before. Really? I could have sworn she did that before. Character reversal reduces XP gained instead of increasing it. That would suck. Oh. Okay. Oh my. You're awake. Welcome home, Yuka. <laughs> Miss Rie. You're controlling those monsters? 
then that means every Eden Syndrome case has been because of you... Oh no, I wasn't doing it all from the very beginning. I was fascinated by the existence of the Eaters. I knew there was a way to control them if only I looked hard enough. The experiments were a big success. All that's left to do is tear down the world's walls. And to do that, I'll need your mental data. Your memories. Work for me just a little bit longer, dear Yuka. Surprise! Oh my, it's you! Looks like your annoying little friend followed you back. That ability of yours is getting to be a tad bit bothersome. Would you mind getting out of my hair? What the fuck was that flash? There, now that that nuisance is out of the way. It's Rie! Now, now, you mustn't move. You have to relax for your first time, remember? Ooh, uh. What's great about this terminal is that not only can I log into Eden with any avatar I want, it creates the personality and imports it as memories into the digital world. Did you not catch on, dear Yugo? I thought you were the real Yugo when you were logged in as Yugo. But no, I created that personality. No. That was, uh, that was of my own free will. Oh, excuse me. Your own free will? There's hardly any of that left. If your free will was in charge, you'd never have taken part in that fast to fool all those hackers. To fool the hackers? I did that to those hackers? <laughs> in other words, this terminal can spoof your memories via the digital world. It can write them in and, of course, extract them. Well then, shall we begin? Going to steal all your secrets. That's a big wee wish. Seems there have been some rapid developments. Regardless, I'm glad you're okay. Watch out for cars. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ, I nearly got isekai again. Should be able to calculate Yuko's position from your Digivice's log data. Start by returning to the agency. I'll contact Arata and Nokia. I understand your excitement. I suppose it's only natural. Yet now is when you must remain calm. You must understand the situation before you act. Yes, that is precisely why you are my assistant. That was really intense. Look at all these not dead people. Murata! A lot I don't understand. There's one thing I know for sure. I know who the enemy is. And... Wh wh what do we do about it? She played us all for fools. Mocking our pride. Have to avenge our fallen comrades. As a lone hacker. Rada. Okay then. You need to go home. Before you get in over your head. <laughs> Karuru Greymon, thank you for helping us. I'm Omnimon of the Royal Knights. Oh, right, this was a thing that happened when I stopped paying attention to Digimon. Uh, apparently there's a whole bunch of Digimon that come together and they call themselves the Royal Knights and one of them is Omnimon. And they're actually, like, really important to pretty much every Digimon story that happened, like, ever since they were formed or some shit. I don't fucking know. I, <laughs> like, this is... Like, I'm only, like learning about this from, like, random things that Rogers told me. Uh, oh yeah, Omnimon. Um, Royal Knights? There's something important I have to tell you. Once I merged into Omnimon, I was able to remember why I came to this world. Something important to tell me? The reason you came to this world? Not really following you, but okay. Just leave it all to Nokia. <sighs> it is not just the digital world that faces a grave danger. The world you live in is threatened as well. You will be involved in a greater fight than the one you have been embroiled in thus far. Will you lend us your aid? Yeah, of course we will. Even if the whole entire world is against us, and even if some uh, something gross falls, on, uh, falls for my hot bod. Ew. I'll keep fighting for you as long as my heart goes on. Aww. 
Thank you. There is, after all, something familiar about you. Okay, let's go. Our battle begins now. What happens after the cutscene text? That's when the cutscene text begins. <laughs> Idiot. Talking like that makes it sound... Uh, makes it sound more like the end than the beginning. Yuko. No, Yuko. Begging you, please be safe. Yes, I would like to save. But watch there be cutscenes immediately after this, so... Yep, surprise. We're not done yet. You're late. Look at the TV. They're covering the Under Zero incident. This is fucking lullaby. The reports are saying the mass outbreak of Eden Syndrome was caused by hacking activity in Eden. It's unilateral in, uh, indictment uh, against hackers. And of course, there's not a single word of the mastermind, Kishibe. At the very least, the scheme paints Kamashiro as the victim and the hackers as the perpetrators. Kishibe laid the blame on the hackers and must still be using Yuko Kamashiro to further the Paradise Lost plan. The NPC is the Under Zero incident. Uh. Yeah, why was it necessary to sick the eaters on the hackers? Shibe flooded Under Zero with a massive digital wave to control the unpredictable eaters. That must have been just an experiment. Eaters in the digital wave. See whether or not it was possible to control uh, to control them both. She was able to wipe out the hackers she had been manipulating, so it was two birds of one stone. Yeah, getting two birds stoned at once. Uh, you were the bait. And what did Kishibe and Dr. Yuka? Don't have any clues as to that. However, Kishibe's plan must be nearing its climax. Did, did you have to say the word climax when talking about this woman who is incredibly lewd? <laughs> And Yuko is the key to its final stage. Rie Kishibe finally mastered control over the flow of digital waves. This had eluded her until now. Paradise Lost Plan could start at any moment now. You need to find Yuko Kamashiro fast. We'll check your log information for that at the same time. Uh, we must figure out what the true objective of this plan is. What does she achieve by being able to control digital waves as a crux of the Paradise Lost Plan? Two birds with one stone, but then when does the egg come into place? Shut the fuck up. We got data on the latest Labyrinth events and new info on digital wave flows. If we compare them, we should be able to predict con uh, conclusively where digital waves will occur. That locus will, in all likelihood, be the focal point of her plan. It'll take some time to verify all this. Please wait a little longer. Oh, Takumi, you're safe. Phew. Omnimon wants to talk to you. Can you come to the Zaxxon forum? You can keep a low profile there, so I'll see you, uh, so I'll see you there. It'll take time for Kyoko to finish her analysis. Might as well go. Chapter 11, Paradise Lost. There we go. Alright, let's see. T -t 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 Mega Man, Mega Man. Yeah, whatever. Uh, tricky. Uh, what has wings on his back? In Infermon, Garudamon, or Gotsumon? It'd be Garudamon. Alright, and with that... <laughs> We're going to save it here. Holy crap, we are nearly half an hour over time. <laughs> and with that, that is where we are going to be ending things for tonight. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for more Digimon Cyber Sleuth. It has been fantastic. But uh, hey, I have Platinum Sakamon now, so I can actually do, you know, decent off-stream farming now. Yay! <laughs> oh god, and it won't take hours this time. It'll only take minutes. All right. So. So. God damn. <laughs> that, was, that was very plot heavy right at the end. Jesus. But yeah, we are now officially past the halfway point of the game. And the plot has finally, you know, like kicked into high gear. So everything is going to be kind of nuts from here on out. So yeah. So yeah. Cannot wait to get back into this on Tuesday. So, 
for Saturday and Sunday. Yes, I'm going to be streaming uh, Sunday this week instead of having the day off like I usually do. Uh, I have something special. If you haven't, you know, been a part of the uh, Discord or you missed last stream when I talked about it, uh, I have an invite for the Halo Infinite multiplayer test this weekend. So yeah, we are going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be streaming Halo Infinite. Fuck yeah, dude. But yeah, uh, I believe they are testing specifically big team battles. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> that'll be interesting. Cause like I never actually got to play Halo online when, you know, big team battle was a thing. So like I've only really played, you know, just Slayer with eight people max. <laughs> so like having like 20 something people in the same fight is going to be going to be ridiculous. I, uh, I hope I can, uh, shake off the, like, what, decade of rust I have when it comes to Halo multiplayer. So, yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting weekend. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the Halo Infinite multiplayer flight test. Ciao.